al esfuerzo y al heroísmo de una revolución, no los queremos, no los necesitamos. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the second episode of Cooking with Tony. Today we're going to be making a pork loin with rosemary and thyme potatoes and a side of caramelized onions. Come into my office. Thank you. Hello, welcome back to Cooking with Tony, episode two. Today we're gonna to be making pork loin with caramelized onions and potatoes with rosemary and thyme. The ingredients for this recipe are garlic powder, salt, pepper, paprika, extra virgin olive oil, butter, rosemary, thyme, onions, potatoes, and pork loin. First things first, we're gonna be cutting up the potatoes. Make sure you're, you curl your fingers while cutting the potatoes. First off, just cut off the ends of the potatoes. We don't need those. Now cur curl your fingers. You don't want them too thick, but you don't want them too thin either. Just to let you guys know, these potatoes have already been pre-washed. If you're doing this at home, make sure you wash the potatoes before you cut them. Now we're gonna cut the onions. Make sure to cut off the ends just like the potatoes. Make sure to take off the peel. season the pork loin. First off we're going to use pepper. Then salt. And then we're going to use garlic powder. And we are going to be repeating on the other side. And I gotta wash my hands again. Make sure you wash your hands often while cooking. Now we're going to do the other side. Then we're gonna use salt, just like before. And then garlic powder. Now that we season the pork, we're gonna cut the fat cap so then it doesn't curl up into the pan. So that is fine. 
Now that we are done with the pork, we're gonna wrap it up and put it in the refrigerator for a few hours. So now we're gonna cut up the rosemary and thyme. Make sure to lay it on top of each other. And let's get cutting. So now we're going to be seasoning the onions and the potatoes in plastic bags. So now we're going to be putting black pepper, salt, and paprika and the rosemary and thyme into the bag. the paprika you don't want to add a lot but it just uh, gives like a nice kick to the potatoes that's good enough now we're gonna close the bag and shake it up Now we're gonna be putting the onions in the bag, but we're only gonna be using black pepper and salt for this. And then we're gonna use salt. The salt is gonna extract all the oils from the uh, onions, so it's more flavorful. All right. Now we're gonna close this up and we're gonna leave this into the refrigerator for about two hours and we'll be back with you. Now that everything is prepped, we're gonna be 
um, putting the onions in a saute pan and we're going to be putting the pork and the potatoes in a normal pan. So now let's get cooking. First off, we're going to put the pork into the pan. We're going to put the oil now in the pan. Don't put a lot, but don't put a little. So that's good enough, it seems. And we're going to let it um, get up the temperature. So then we'll have an even crust on both sides while cooking. Now with the potatoes, we're also going to put it in a normal pan. And uh, we're going to do the same process as the pork and put oil into the pan and then put the potatoes into the pan after the pan is up to temperature. So now that the potatoes are in the pan, we're going to put the pork into the pan now. Ooh. Make sure you press down on the pork so it has an even crust after. Now we are finally going to put the onions into the pan. This won't take as much time as the pork and the potatoes. So after we put all this stuff in the pan, we're gonna season lightly uh, the onions and the potatoes, just with a little pepper. Don't want these burn. Now when you're doing the onions, you want to stir uh, vigorously to make sure there's an even coating of uh, uh, just a nice sear on the onions, honestly. Look at that, already nice color on the onions. We're going to add some oil to the onions now. And you're going to keep on stirring after that. So now we're going to flip the pork. Oh, nice sear. Make sure the pork hits all the spots on the pan on the other side too. So even cooking. All right. Nice. Nice. Now we're going to add some butter to the potatoes so it adds some creaminess. Nice. That's what we want to see. And move it around the pan a little bit. We want all those potatoes to get with that butter. And then you want to keep on stirring those onions. Oh. We're gonna add a little bit of salt. So we're doing this to the onions so it adds a nice smoky and sweet flavor to the onions. 
Now we're gonna take the potatoes off the pan. Right, I'm just gonna use this. You're gonna wanna keep on cooking the onions until they're a nice golden brown. And after that, you wanna add some more butter to the onions so it adds some nice like lightness to the onions. So now the onions are coming off too. So now we're going to add to the pork our rosemary, thyme, and butter. And now we're gonna butter base uh, the pork. Now we're gonna take off the pork and let it rest for about five minutes. And yeah. And now by viewer request, I'm not gonna cut it with my hands. And you know who you are. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Look at those juices. Now that I cooked everything to perfection, honestly, I have. Just look at that pork, that juicy pork. Oh my gosh, that's, that's really juicy. And those nice onions, oh my gosh. Now the camera crew is gonna try some. Here you guys go. Here, try some, get in the shot. Nice. All right. That will be it for the second episode of Cooking with Tony. Thank you for joining me. Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys.